On behalf of Utah Chapter of OCA, we welcome you here today to celebrate the 145th anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad Leaders laid the final rail at Promontory Point here in Utah, signaling the end that linked the rail system from the East Coast to the West Coast. This project that virtually impacted all Americans was made possible in large part by the hard work and sacrifices of Chinese laborers. The Chinese worked harder, faster, and for less money than any other ethnic groups. But despite their great contributions, there's very little that shows for it today. Extremely important for all Americans, especially descendants of Chinese, to realize that we helped build this country and that we have as much right to be proud of our contributions as anyone else. The Utah chapter of OCA is committed to keeping the memory of these Chinese pioneers alive for just those reasons. Joining us today are representatives from 16 organizations that comprise the Chinese Transcontinental Railroad Commemoration Project Consortium. It's a mouthful, right? Uh, they will be recognized a little bit later in the program, as will our out-of-town guests uh, from the U.S. and from China. The objectives of the consortium are fourfold. First, we seek to increase the number of Asian and Pacific Islanders that attend the Golden Spike celebration, especially tomorrow, uh, May 10th. And this will include ensuring that we have community participation in the historic photo project that is uh, conducted by famed photographer Courtney Lee. He's here. He will speak to us a little bit later. Uh, second, we want to increase political recognition of Chinese railroad laborers, of their contributions and their sacrifices. Third, we seek to expand the elementary school curriculum to recognize the Chinese railroad laborers' contributions and, and their sacrifices. And fourth, we seek to increase the number of historical accounts of these Chinese railroad lab laborers through the collection and documentation of their oral of the oral histories from descendants and others. Now, before I introduce the rest of the program, I'd like to read a statement from our national OCA president, Sharon Wong. On May 10, 1869, a historical picture was taken at the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. An important piece of that historical picture was the exclusion of approximately 12,000 Chinese immigrants who worked countless hours in completing one of America's glorious achievements. As the reenactment of Golden Spike Ceremony takes place uh, at this 145th anniversary, let us take time to remember those who have been erased in our history books, our photographs, and our memories. Let us remember and embrace the sacrifices of these long-deserved laborers who played a crucial role in constructing, in constructing the Transcontinental Railroad. Since the Hall's establishment in 1988, there has never been an Asian American in the Hall of Honor. This makes it even more poignant to recognize these early Asian Americans. And we applaud OCA Utah for recognizing this momentous anniversary.